We are raising sails on the Charles W. Morgan. Where she was once a whale ship, she now sails as an ambassador to ocean conservation. Leading up to this restoration, we knew we were going to have to restore her. We knew it was going to be primarily below the waterline. So in that case, it was a matter of documenting what was there, how she had been put together originally. That's how we put, to, put her back together. I am standing underneath the main hatch of the Charles W. Morgan here with Bill, who's the chief engineer on board. What we're looking at is ropeware from uh, block and tackles that were used to lower in the large uh, casts of oil. As we walk towards the bow on the Charles W. Morgan, we see this very large structure located amidships. This is the vessel's triworks. This is where the fires would have been uh, fed that created the heat to boil down the whale's blubber. Can you imagine the billowing smoke that must have emanated from these chimneys as a whale was being rendered, which sometimes take a, took as long as two days? East by north, a half north. Half north, right? This small cabin on the aft end of the Charles W. Morgan is Mrs. Tinkham's cabin. Mrs. Tinkham was Captain Tinkham's 20-year-old wife. She suffered terribly from seasickness and was unable to continue the voyage and left the ship in 1876 at St. Helena. I'm sitting at the captain's table in the stern of the Charles W. Morgan. As you can see, it has a homey and lived-in feel as the crew of the 38th voyage have made it their home. My family's been lifelong visitors of the museum and uh, you know obviously when you go to the museum you, you go to all the different exhibits and one of the highlights was always being on the Morgan and now to be a member of the crew is just beyond description. I just cannot put it in words. As we move through the blubber room, we are approaching the forecastle where the crew had their accommodations. Where once this space was filled with the whalemen who crewed the Charles W. Morgan, it is now home to the crew of the 38th voyage who are bringing the Morgan to the public as an ambassador for ocean conservation.